Kapilani nurses are heading back to work on Sunday. This after 98% of them voted in favor of ratifying their new three-year contract, which we first told you about as breaking news. Our Mika Miyashima tells us what's in the new contract and has reaction from both sides. We're very, very happy with what happened. Roughly 600 nurses are eager to get back on the job after voting to ratify their new contract with Kapilani Medical Center for Women and Children. I just came off Zoom with like 300 nurses and it was just like everybody was waiting and then they shared the results and it was overwhelmingly yeah, a, a yes. Electronic voting closed at 6 on Wednesday evening. It's been quite the long road, uh, one year, two strikes and you know being locked out, still locked out. Uh, we won't be able to get back to work till Sunday. Uh, the employer said that's the um, earliest we could get you in. Kapiolani says the new contract includes a staffing matrix, which includes flexible staffing levels. Guidelines within that matrix give the ability to adjust staffing based on a patient's medical needs and conditions. It's just giving guidelines to make sure that, hey, we have enough nurses for the amount of patients they have. We're able to work and see, what, based on the acuity, what, what we need. But we just want to make sure there's enough nurses to take care of the amount of patients that are in the hospital. Kapiolani's chief operating officer saying in a statement, we are pleased our nurses voted in favor of this contract. Fixed ratios are not the answer. As a result of our collaborative efforts in negotiations, our nurses will now be a part of the staffing process so we can all work together to adjust to our patients' needs. With these agreed upon flexible staffing levels, we can focus on our patients and the ever-changing needs in our medical center. I hope, if anything, from this that the state sees that and knows how important this topic is, the amount of nurses to make sure we have the right amount of nurses, you know, at the bedside. The agreement also includes raises, averaging out to 3.5% annually over nearly four years. Longevity pay increases for nurses with 5, 10, and 15 years of experience at the hospital. A council made up of Kapilani nurses and nurse leaders that will meet monthly to work on any staffing issues. And ongoing recruitment and retention programs aimed at bringing in new nurses and supporting current ones. In a statement, Kapiolani COO adds, this has been an emotional process for all of us at Kapiolani, and we are ready to move forward together. We're very eager to get back. Mika Miyashima, Island News.